No, it's, uh, you know, you can't take six penalties and win. I mean, it's it's an impossibility. We're trying to use uh, um, guys that the third and fourth line basically to kill penalties to save our other guys. But sometimes you, you need to, you know, it's still, it's still her, uh, hard when you're killing all those penalties and you're trying to get into a rhythm of a game. Other than coming out of it down a goal, did you like the way the first period went? Did you like the start? Yeah, we had a lot of energy. We had five scoring chances before they had any. And uh, again, I think it's a lot of it is, um, and you go through this during the course of the year, you'd like not to, but I mean, where you squeeze your stick so tight and guys are getting great chances and not getting uh, not getting results. So quite frankly, I think they're getting frustrated. And like I said, in between periods, uh, I said frustration is the most useless uh, emotion you can have. It does nothing but hurt you. So, I mean, uh, we've got to get away from the, f the frustration and uh, feeling bad for ourselves and, and start getting back to the way we can play. It's tough, though, when it's not just one line, but it's two lines, and it's your top two lines, right? Well, I, I think, you know, well, look at the last two games. The forward hasn't got a goal. So, I mean, it's all four lines, quite frankly. Uh, second goal, uh, was that just a bad line change? Yep. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, and you don't expect that from from Jared, but I mean, they were going off the ice, and and he thought we had a chance to get off, and uh, sometimes you forget that it's the second period, and they've got the advantage on the line change, and that that was, you know, I, I thought it won nothing. I thought there was no way we weren't going to come back at two nothing. It became difficult, and then even at, uh, at the start of the third, I thought if we get one. We're going to get two, but they got that one early, which makes it really difficult. How comes in a losing effort? Do you like the way Dumba's offensive game is kind of rounded into shape here the last couple of weeks? Well, he's probably the only one with offensive confidence right now. And what he's doing is he's starting to shoot the puck. And he's got a great shot. If he shoots the puck a lot, he's going to get a lot more of those. You start to score, you've got to feel good right now with what Stalock's giving you night in, night out. He was awesome again tonight. You know, I mean, uh, uh, the guy competes as his ass off and you, you hopefully that you can get better results I mean this week you know I mean it's it's not all doom and gloom we were two and two we didn't lose the week I mean uh, we got a chance to to win two out of three before Christmas or three out of three depending on uh, what it goes on and uh, and then we'll be back at it First I mean, back. it was his first game. First, you know, you could see the excite. Uh, his first couple of shifts were great, you know, and uh, he was probably a little bit rusty, but uh, overall, he's, you know, Jared Spurgeon is a great player. What did, what did you think of Erickson next game? I thought it was better. Mm -hmm. I thought he had chances. He was touching, you know, I mean, he was playing with the puck, and when he plays with the puck, you know, that's uh, it's going to gain confidence for the young man. Uh, um, before, you know, recently he's been just about forechecking and, and checking and being in the right spots and, and that. But when you, you get a chance to play with the puck and have you know have it on your stick and get a couple shots on goal, I think it's the start of something. Tough when a player like Kane's left open, I guess, on those couple chances it stings. Well, the first one, yeah. I mean, it was a four on two. We, we, and uh, we did a bad job of you know spreading ourselves out. Uh, the second one, obviously, was the breakaway goal. But... Um, uh, he's a great player, and you can't give a great player too much, too much opportunity, or they're going to put it in the net.